Hey guys, what is up? Welcome in on another video. Hope all is well out there. As you can see from the title of this video, I've just received my new Tama Speed Cobra 910 double pedal. So shout out to the guys at my local PNT Norwich for hooking me up with this. And today I'm going to be unboxing uh, the pedal. I'll show you what comes with it straight out of the box. We're going to set it up and then later on get it on the kit. And I'll give you my first impressions once we've had a playthrough. So as I hate watching gear review videos or unboxing videos, where someone's juggling a camera and a knife in one hand. I have the GoPro Hero 8 on the chesty harness, which I'm gonna wear in a second, so you can see close up what comes out of the box. So let's get straight into it. Here we go. Let's get stuck in and get it out of the box. Nice. <laughs> I think that is, yeah, very well packaged in there, so thank you guys. Let's chuck that out of the way. And now, here it is. <laughs> Alright, so there is the hard case that it comes in. Very nice. this operate okay got little flaps nice look at that all right okay so we have all right we're already connected there's the main pedal there and this is the slave pedal for the left foot Obviously, the connecting bar. Very nice. All right. So, does it come with a drum key? Yes or no? We have an Allen key set in there, and I will have to use one of my drum keys. Okay. Which I obviously don't have with me. So, bear with me while I go get that. Now, I'm not the. Um, oh God! What an idiot! So, I've gone and got my key, and of course, Tana has provided a nice little key in a holder on the side. So. I'm a twat, don't need this after all, but it's always good to have. You can't have too many spare drum keys lying around. Okay, so here we go. Here are all the components that it's come with. As you can see, the case and the box are now empty. And they've put a nice little reminder picture in here for the idiots like myself out there who can never remember how things were packed once you've unpacked them. So that's very thoughtful of them and will definitely come in handy. So here we have yeah, the slave pedal and as you can see there is a drum key attached and that's going to come in handy. So we'll keep that out. Here is the connector bar which feels very sturdy and then we have let's see the main pedal. So let's open this up and expose the AccuStrike beaters which Obviously, if you haven't seen one of these before, I'll um, let's take one out and I shall show you. Okay. Oh wow, that's very well packaged. Uh, let's rip this off. Hopefully you can see this. Lovely. So here we go. Here is one of the Accu Strike beaters, I believe they're called. And this is now rubber. Obviously this is a new Tama Speed Cobra 910, but this uh, configuration and update has been around, I believe, since 2016, when they changed and updated the Speed Cobra pedal. Uh, so yeah, this beater is rubber, which is obviously going to give you a nice fat attack on the head. The beater feels very solid, obviously, 
Um, and I actually really like these. I know some people aren't a fan of them, um, and they will probably change them out for maybe a felt or a plastic beater. But I played one of these a few months back, and I actually really enjoyed how these felt. They've got a nice weight to them. I quite like a weighty kick beater. Um, I like some resistance in my pedal as well, but obviously that depends on how you set these up. I'm just going to leave this straight out of the box for my first impressions playthrough, and then I might do another video um, once I've had a bit more time with the pedal, and I'll let you know if I've tweaked anything or felt like I needed to. So um, for this video, we're going to leave it as it is and just set it up. And this pops in there. Let's keep those nice and level. Tighten that bad boy up. Fuck yeah. So, that's nice and straight, or is it? No, that's definitely not straight. There we go, so it's nice and tight. And then while we're in that position, let's just whack the springs on. That's locked in there, nice and easy. And the same on this side. Yeah, there we go. So they'll, yeah, hopefully sit. And I'll mess with the angle. Actually, that might work. I mean, we'll see once we get this connected up. So let's roll that back. Swing that on there. All right, now let's tighten this up. Okay, excellent. That's solid, and same on this side. Okay, and that. More or less it. Let's take off obviously the wrapper. There we go. Sliding back in, same sort of level. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but I think these pedals look really nice. They are the, obviously the longboard Tama has gone for and I'm a fan myself. I know they're quite popular nowadays. Now you can see that was a very quick and painless setup process straight out of the box. This pedal is ready to go. So the next thing to do, I'm gonna get this on the kit, have a little playthrough, and spend some time with it. Uh, and then I'll come back and talk you through my first impressions, let you know some of the features that I like about this pedal and some of the reasons why I went for this. Okay, so now I've had a little bit of time to spend with the pedal on the kit. I just wanted to give you some of my first impressions and thoughts on this pedal um, compared to what I was using previously, which was a DW9000 series. Straight out of the box, it's just really easy to set up and play straight away. Everything works as you kind of want a double pedal to. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but already I love this pedal. I massively prefer it to what I was using before. It's just seems a lot more intuitive than the DW where I felt like, especially in the slave pedal, um, I was having to, to put in quite a lot of effort and almost fighting the pedal to get what I wanted it to do. Whereas this just feels so much smoother and more responsive. I really like that it's powerful, but there's just so much control there that you can play the softest kind of strokes that you want um, without having to use too much effort. Quick disclosure, I am not sponsored by Tama in any way, shape or form or endorsed by them. Um, although after this review, maybe I'll get a phone call. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, I bought this pedal with my own money and I wish I had done sooner. I'm not the biggest double pedal player out there, but this already felt way more comfortable for the way I play than the DW ever did. This immediately just feels so much smoother, more responsive, and the power is right there when you want it as well. Um, there's a lot more control, I think. I especially noticed it in the left foot. I'm still yet to tweak the right foot to get it how I like. Um, I like quite a lot of tension in the right pedal because it's my stronger foot. But yeah, this pedal, if you don't have one and you're into double pedals, you need to go and try one for sure. That is my first impression of the Tama Speed Cobra. I highly recommend that you try one of these out if you haven't done so already. I'm really happy with this. I'm looking forward to spending a bit more time with it now and tweaking it for my personal preferences. Okay guys, there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please show your support by hitting the thumbs up and the subscribe button below. It really means a lot. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Let me know what you liked about this video or thoughts for future videos that you'd like to see perhaps. And I'll see you in the next one.